are you? Okay. Good. It's warm there. Oh, what you wearing? Shh, shh. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Can you see me well? Yeah. See you well. I see the bass guitar behind you. Uh, yeah. I see you're also a smoker, so I'm going to allow myself to. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. So. Yeah. What 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 have you been up to? You, you said you you were in the, in the studio, right? Earlier. No, actually, I was in the studio all day. I um, got back not too long ago to here after living abroad for a long time. And uh, basically, what I do is going to the studio as much as I can since I got here, working on some music. Yeah. When did you? Yeah. When did you arrive? How long you you are here? Your sister just said, you know, that we should meet. So I I said yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, how do you how, tell me? How do you know my sister? Where do you know her from? Um, we've been working on television uh, in the nineties. Oh, you were. Do you remember yes. from what? Yes, it was uh, kind of. Um, Magazine, music magazine. magazine. Nice. Uh, was she editing, or what did she do back then? She was doing some outdoor uh, pieces, and uh, she was also uh, doing some interviews, I guess. And uh, and she's she's a good friend of Sh Sh Sharon Canto. She's a good friend of mine. We used to live yeah. together. Yeah, you know, you, you know, Sharon Canto actually DJed at her, at her wedding. Were you at that wedding? Because maybe we we actually met each other a few years ago and and we don't remember. Where was that? It was I think like seven no like eight or nine years ago probably seven eight ish. And wh where did where was that? It was uh, a place called uh, the Agam. The Agam. Solico played as well. Solico was or probably no they and Frankenstein. Had a show. It was really nice. Yeah. So we, I don't know if they're in touch, Sean and, and her. But you know, she told me about you, and I actually remember you when I was a child. I remember one of your songs pretty well. Which one? Lo va itach bematan. Yeah. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Because of uh, the Damakot, right? Everybody With remembers the line. Salakot was a very, I like that song very much, I remember as a kid. <laughs> I didn't try the lyrics, you know, it's Yosef, Joe, do you know the guy? I didn't know, I didn't know. Did you write the music though? Yeah, I did. Really nice music. Thanks. Nice melody. Thanks. So you do music, right? You. Yeah, I'm actually, I just came back from a gig in Cafe Oh Bialy. yeah. Oh nice! Yeah. I know. You know. I know about that place. How was it? Who's playing with you? What? Do you have band? Do you have? I have. Yeah, I have a new band. We called Louis Marshall. Louis Marshall. I like that name. Where is it coming from? Uh, Louis Marshall was a Zionist in U.S. Uh, years ago. Was mm. a I don't know activist, just Zionist. Uh, All right. And, cool. The, the guy I'm writing the songs with, Yuval uh, Mendelssohn, he was in a band called Shaget. I know the name. I heard about it. You know, he, Can't say I know the music, but I heard the name. It's kind of rock, rock songs. Very um, good lyrics. Nice. So, uh, we, we know each other for years. He's, he's 20 years younger than me. You know I'm over 50, I'm sorry. I have, I'm, I have to be honest with you. You're I've over been what? 50. You're over 50, you don't look it at all. It's all right, but I am. Yeah. Anyway, so I... Uh, he lives in uh, uh, Louis Marshall and the corner of Honia Mergel. Oh, cool. So you got the name from that. Yeah. And who's playing with you? Like, what, what kind of instruments? How many people in the band? We're five piece band. Yeah. Two guitars, bass, drums. I play acoustic guitar. And the harmonica. Mm-hmm. I saw. Yeah, I saw it before. And um, 
we we actually started writing the songs after the uh, uh, <clears throat> summer of uh, 2011 with all the riots and the protests. Have you been in uh, New York at that time or here? Probably have. Well, um, 2007, you said? No, 2011. 11. Yeah. I was still in New York, yeah. But yeah, that, that. last couple the... of years, 2011, 2012 ish. A mechaha, I think it was called here, the protest. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Wait, w um, the big mecha, that's when I got back, the same summer. Right. Yeah. So we started. We started writing the songs just after that because I kind it was of, a lot to a lot to write about. <laughs> exactly, and also yeah. it was sad in a way. It was sad because it looked like it's gonna be okay. And, just, and it why don't you play me some harmonica? I want to hear some uh, some tune. Sure. <clears throat> or you got divorced I'm not sure how well not a divorce a relationship back in New York yeah um, not just it's been a few years but um, it's been a, a long huge sort of a relationship which kind of opened up the channel for me of uh, if I see my life with this person which is a first for me what well, was a first for me which you know a big step of uh, you know opening the channel of uh, actually building a home with somebody. Yeah. Um, but I decided eventually to give that one up. <laughs> um, and not cause of it, but um, I guess it's a part of it, that a decision of not staying there and coming here again, you yeah. know, trying to, to get a foundation at where I'm from as opposed to, you know, I spent most of my uh, 20s back in New York, straight after high school, straight after the army, right, like Im immediately. So uh, it's nice, you know, and I can always go back. It's good to be a citizen, you can always, you know, go back and forth. Um, how, how, what about you in relationships? I, I didn't get a chance to speak to her too much, but I'm uh, uh, <clears throat> saving, you know, the questions to person himself to be direct. I, I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't plan to, to divorce. Uh, it, it wasn't on my plans to get divorced. How, how long ago did you get divorced? Uh, August, a uh, year and a half ago, uh, two, almost two years. In August, it will be two years. Two years? Oh, so that's pretty... Right. Yeah. That's, and we, fresh. We have... that's, like, that's not a long time at all. Right? Oh, no, no. still coping. I'm, I'm just getting out of the mud. Uh, um, that's how I feel lately. I feel better. I had terrible time, uh, I don't know, accepting the fact that uh, my family was broken. I was, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my parents were divorced when I was six. Okay. And I uh, actually never really recovered out of that. For me, it's trauma. I, I still wow. uh, kind of... Um, you didn't, you didn't want to go through all these steps again. You wanted to do something different. Yeah, I actually yeah. had... A, when my son is now 15, when he was uh, six, I was... Mm -hmm. uh, I felt that there's a bomb ticking in me and I might, you know, lose my family, like move out like my, my, my 
father did, but I didn't. It's dead. And was it I that hope... bad already back then? How long were you married oh. for? I don't think it was bad at all. Just that basically, it's it's a cliche. I'm I'm an artist, and I, I guess I was. Although I was really into the kids and my 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 ex. And your ex wife. Yeah, but I I I, I guess I was. I don't know. I wasn't there enough in a way. What well, I understand from that that she's not an artist, or she is, but you're doing different things, or what? What she's, does she do for a she's, living? She's um, a frustrated writer. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'm not saying this. Yeah, it's hard, and and she's she's working with a family elevators uh, kind of company. Okay. For a living, uh, which is okay. It's cool, I think. Uh, anyway, it was something was wrong, and I would never. I was like a Christian. I would never dream of leaving, uh, or you know, I, I was thinking. So it's yeah, it's a bad time, bad bad bad, bad period, but uh, it's gonna be okay later, or we're gonna work out on it, work work uh, out, work make through it. it. Yeah. Well, but it, it didn't work out. It didn't, it didn't work eventually. No. Are you in a, in good relations? I mean, are, are you like in good terms with each other? Yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't like an ugly divorce or a rough one. No. Because it's, it's really wasn't. easy to get there. It's really easy without even wanting it to get tough. It just, you know, goes down that road. At yeah. most times, so. nice to hear that. Yeah. Well, the thing was, uh, I uh, it was really important for important for both of us to stay uh, in in good terms and in good uh, terms for the kids. I I, I don't know. Just uh, after I moved out, I, I was like uh, surviving. You know, I had to find this place. Where I'm, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. For the kids, buy them stuff, uh, tables, TV, whatever, you know. Right, uh, set up a room for them to make them feel at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, just recently, I just started feeling that um, it's gonna be alright again. I, I, I wasn't it sure. Talking is. I'm sure it is. Uh, yeah, I wasn't no, talking. It takes time. But... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it takes time, but it's it's an adjustment period, and everybody, if you if you actually you know get divorced, everyone that gets divorced goes goes through it, and you know. I know. You're gonna uh. find your uh, new path, they say. Yeah. Um. I, I kept doing music. I started writing new songs. I, uh, I formed a new band. So I, uh, I, so I guess I'm okay. It's energy for creation. Yeah, exactly. Very, very good. So, um, did does your kids um, do they come see you play? Do, do, do they come see do, do they come see at shows? Well, um, my son plays guitar, right? Uh, he's really good. He's, he's a really good guitarist. Uh, he's, he's 15 and he's, he's also he's already a man. <laughs> it's really funny. Yes, 15 year olds today yeah. nowadays are already men. I remember that. So and he's, uh, he's skateboarding and he's a cool guy. His name is Itai. Yeah. Itai, it's a nice Itai. name. I like. I always like that name. Yeah. What's your daughter's name? Her name is uh, Yael. Yael. Do you uh, do you have uh, just you and, and Karen, or you have more brothers and sisters? No, I have another. We have another sister in the middle. Karen's the oldest. She's six years older than me. Right. And then I have Motem, um, which is a year and a couple of months ish older than me. We're closer at age. What does she do? And then and then I'm the third one. Oh. What does she do? The middle one. Yeah. Oh, she's like the, 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 she's different than us. I mean, she's an artist at heart, but she makes money. <laughs> she, uh, 
<laughs> she runs the finance of this billionaire businessman, investor, and she has like this part-time job through her house, getting a huge salary, going all to all these meetings in those fancy restaurants. She's like, a, she's a tiger. Right. Yeah. Yeah, she is a tiger. You have and, uh, family, right? Say what? It's, it's good to have someone like that in the family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, tell me, how do you find it, uh, the, the, this place after all, all, all those years? Is it different than you remember it in the 10 years ago? Oh, it's, it's incredibly different. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that in my case specifically, I wasn't, I didn't lose touch. Uh, while I was there because I got to come here quite a lot mm -hmm. but um, and I, I, I always like same friends like like a bunch of friends that I always had were still I didn't have to like be in touch daily on Skype or anything to to feel as natural as could be when I came back right. so I didn't lose my identity here but um, a lot has changed I think more te technically like you know the way prices are apartments it's incredibly different it's when I moved to New York I had to adjust to how high you know the rents are and how everything is so different than here but then coming back here it's even worse it's a new adjustment like I always told myself in the first few years oh you know what when I'll get back to Israel I would be able to live in a huge apartment in the low rent no like the build-up actually happened throughout these 10 years I was away And coming back here was, and it's so Americanized <laughs> in every little way, no matter where you go. Yeah. Um, so you know what? It's not that different <laughs> than there, but it is different than what it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I like it. It still has its own energy, the, a one that you can never find in New York. Um, yeah. With a lot of yeah, yeah. It's uh, definitely home. <laughs> and it took me a while to, to, to feel it because I was so New York oriented. You know, I built my personality there. I grew up there basically. The first mm -hmm. time I left my parents' house was straight to there. And I, I didn't have like a, you know, <laughs> it was all at once and in a very extreme way. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, you come back here after so many years and I left when I was about 20. And then you get stuck, the first reaction is to be sucked into this, I'm, I don't know what to do, I'm still a little child. As yeah. if I just got out of the army, you know what I mean? Like the 10 years of me being like so independent and mm -hmm. you know, even going even getting my, my, my passport, my American passport, which is a process I did all by myself, live there, work there with no help, coming back here feels like I'm 19 years old again. At first, yeah. now I'm balanced it up. But it was like, I don't, I don't want to go to social security, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to go to, like, I don't know how, what to do, how to talk to them. The old bureaucrats are so incredibly hard. You know? So it took me a while. It's still taking me some time to, like, feel like an adult here. And your, your memories, like, goes straight back to when you were a kid, you know. Suddenly your family is here, and I'm the baby in my family. So over there, I was by myself, independent. But now that I'm here, I was like the baby again. But now it's, I'm back to being myself, I'm happy to say. <laughs> it took me a little bit. It's like parallel universe, right? Yeah, it is. It is. And it's amazing how every time visiting Israel while living in New York, once you land here, It's like New York erases, and you just feel, it's so extreme, it's so, it's two different places with such an extreme energy that it, the same thing happened to me every time I got back. Like I was, I'm, I, I, middle of the I back in New York, it was like, okay, there's no Israel. It's like two, living in two different worlds. Thank <laughs> you.